Please welcome firstly the challenger, boxing out of the blue corner. Representing the FKO from Wales, Pablo Gomez. <laughs> and his opponent, Buster Green, boxing out of the red corner. He is the reigning Essex and reigning and defending Four Nations Champion representing with his gym from England, Lewis the Lion Aitam. Six, seven rounds, your referee is the Matt Tapers. Before the bell goes for the start of the six round contest. Should be an interesting start. Let's see exactly how this pans out. Unbeaten game it, so just in fight. This is how we're gonna go. Something I do like about Gomez is his name. Say, well, well, if he's if he's anywhere near Mexican, you know them boys are tough. <laughs> very, very tough. Oh, good, good, good one two there for Aiden. Gomez on his back foot. Yes, yeah, he's. he's it's very even up to this point. Both lads getting good shots. It's nice, nice styles both of the lads have got as well. One of the most improved fighters in a short space of time with Chris Ayton. He's done so well. He's surprised a few people with how well he's done. That's it. Big test here with an undefeated fighter. Very much so, very much so. Keeping his hands high, that's good for me. And then close. Getting in the eye of the storm, not taking too much punishment. This is a six. This is a six rounder as well. So it's a little bit early to fight a big white. This is the thing. This is the thing. Both lads seem quite lively, but but yeah, you got you got to pace yourselves as well. Good for mate. No, back to basics. He missed that big right hand, and he's starting to work his jab again. Very smooth from Gomez there. Nice slip there by Gomez. Beautiful slip. Overhand right, overhand right, right from Gomez. Looks like his timing's quite good then. Yeah, both fighters looking... Round uh, two! Okay, let's see what the second round has to offer Dan. Round two of six. Good opener. Throwing a variation of punches. He's very slick, but not, not too. Yeah, he can't get too complacent. It's a competitive fight. He's, make, he's making him. That's the thing. He's a competitive fight. Obviously, this guy's come to win. He throws uh, punches from some very awkward angles. He does. He seems to wait for it. He seems to wait to draw out and into a shot, slip it, and then throw big punches, big counters. Seems to be quite a tricky opponent. I'm not sure if Aiton's seen anything like it before. Them wide angles and them sharp, sharp straight punches. No, he's, he's, getting, he's getting caught with shots. Different types of shots. They're uppercuts, and then when he's throwing these big bombs himself, he's slipping them. But. This is boxing. Gomez trying to tee off now. Very cool, very good. I am getting caught with him. Stop, stop, stop there and it distracts that shot. And again, he's got to be a little bit careful now. Take a step back and regroup. He's getting caught with some punches. Unnecessarily 
thing is, it can, be, it can be frustrating for people when you're throwing shots as well, Dan, and they just step off. Step step out of Second round, this is from Gomez. He's nice. had a good success. Nice jab from Gomez. Double jab and then overhand right. Aiton has got to keep his hands a little bit higher. He likes the overhand right, Gomez. You see? Round three. Third round, third round here, Dan. Third, third. third round's going to be interesting. He's getting caught cool again. Both lads throwing jabs now. Both lads throwing jabs. Aiton needs to get back behind his chair. Get back to base. He got caught with a few punches in that second round. Gomez just don't seem to be... Just giving him the same thing. Don't seem to be phased. Overhands rights all the time. And uppercuts. Gomez needs to get back behind his chair. Get back to base. Get back to base. Get back to base. Get back to base. in the corner. Don't really... He seemed a little bit flustered at this point. Gomez counting as well. Stall kick is a pain. Gomez, very much so. Good triple jab there from Ayrton. Good triple jab. But Gomez just stepped off again. He's trying to throw these big bombs. Marcus Lewis. Well, it's behind the jack. Well, it is, but again, he's had so much success fairly early, perhaps he thinks he can bomb people out of there. And when you've got someone that's a bit more experienced, Dan, that knows what they're doing, they won't stand there and take them shots. They'll step off and wait for the counter. And that's exactly what's happening. Again, again, again. When Lewis and loads up the right hand, Gomez seems to be able to counter that. Every time, it, the thing is, it's, it's one of them. Uh, it's one of them shots where it is telegraphed to a certain degree. He needs to just calm it down and try and throw, rather than try and throw haymakers and being some sort of throw, throw superstar shots. Get back to the basics and throw sensible shots because he's getting caught all over the place at this point. Still, everything's a fight, but half. Oh, very much so, Dan, very much so, but do you know as well as I do that the further the fight goes... OK. It's, here we go, Dan. Getting caught again. And certainly got, certainly got something to... Um, he's certainly got something to... Uh, to think about here now can he can he get himself can he change this can he change his style so again with the jab works on the jab and that's success but again yep this is very much very much this is very much a different a different contest this is one for Ayrton to really think about now That guy in his eyes looking very comfortable in there. Very cool, calm, collected. Punches very well there and countering. Having a little complaint there. Seems, the seems like there's some the elbows level. going in. Some heads and elbows going in. Are you having some success in this round? Again, Gomez doesn't seem overly phased coming forward again. And seems, seems. Oh, he just took a big shot there. Two, two body shots and, and then switched to the head there. He's taken a lot here. It doesn't seem the same. Very, quite elusive, uh, Pablo Gomez. Very, but he's cool. He's missing by millimeters. He's cool, calm, and collected. Again. Real good finish there, both fighters had him Round nine! Fifth round, Dan. Looks like he's going to be a little bit more lively this round. Right now, Dan, are you saying?
Gomez, slow start, not taking any punishment yet, but just got caught on the left. Find a couple of shots, but he, he's just getting caught, he's getting a little bit marked he's up around the eyes, but that hand hand right kick's coming in. Maybe getting a little bit frustrated there. Big, big shots going in now. Oh, an absolute big shot of a punch from Aiton. Wobbled, yeah. wobbled Pablo Gomez. Gomez is doing the same thing. And as, as Aiton got it in the tank to... He oh, keeps he's trying, trying to throw these big bombs. He's got to be a lot more controlled than that. As I say, everyone's trying to... It's all well and good throwing these superstar shots, but you've got to put the work in. Yeah, it seems to have recovered quite well there, Pablo. Both fighters are in the pace at the later stages of this fight. But when Lewis throws it, big bombs and misses, they do take them out. Can't, keep, can't afford to keep doing that. Them overhand rights, they do tell, this is the fourth and sixth round. Gomez throwing a couple of big ones now. Right, this is this is round. Looks like he's coming out to work hard. Trying to take his opponent out. He knows. He knows you've got. He knows you've got to work hard. <laughs> Will crowd plays in this one, Matt. Both fighters giving it. All the later they're, stages of this fight. Both, a great shot there by really hard now, Dan. It's clipped. Pablo. Pablo seems to have a great chin on him though. He's recovered well from the previous big shot. He's a, he's a tough lad. As I said, if he's anywhere near Mexico, he's going to be a tough, tough man. Coming forward now, as I say, it knows he's in a fight this time. Both fighters landing some big shots. Aiton seems to be having more success in this last round than he's had all night. Both lads are feeling the pace a little bit. But both still working really, really hard. Two real game opponents in the ring here, mate. Both giving their all. Both going for it. After six rounds of super middleweight title fight action, your winner and still the four nations, champion Lewis Kalaya Aita. The legend, please raise the roof for absolute fantastic contender. And still the Four Nations champion, the Lion, Lewis Aiton Lewis. A great, great contest there. No matter what anyone says, it won't get fucking harder than that. No way. Unreal. Fuck. I'll tell you what, that Pablo come out. 
He won a couple of rounds. He was up on one of the rounds for a draw, but I'll tell you what, it was a great, great contest. And yet, then last three rounds, you come back firing on all cylinders. And you were throwing that big right, and you, I thought you were going to catch him and take him out in the middle of that sixth round. Mate, you can move it, didn't stop. Can I just say thank you to everyone that was cheering me on. Thank you to all my sponsors, CBSC, for the Georgia Reserve under the fire, AD Bar Construction. And thanks to William Jim for coming through all the training. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, and